What is up you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use wave warp to create this cool little glitch effects, not even just glitch effects, just cool effects to add to your video. So let's get started with the tutorial in Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have three clips right here and I'm going to be showing you guys three different effects. So let's get started with this first clip. So I'm going to hold Option or Alt to hold the clip and I'm just going to drag it up to the second line so it automatically duplicates the clip. So now I have two layers of this clip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to effects and search up wave warp. So we can just add that to our top clip. Now you can see it has these like squiggly lines so we can change some of these factors. So I'm going to change the wave type to noise. You can just mess around with the wave height and the wave width. So I'm literally setting it to random numbers but I kind of want to keep those small numbers. So I set the height to 18 and width to 67. Okay, so I want to use this to make this little line going through the clip kind of like a old-fashioned VHS look, but I don't know, just a glitch effect that drags down the clip. So I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to click that pen tool and I'm just going to create a little rectangle, but I'm going to change the fit to 25%. So I can see this a little bit better. So I'm just going to drag four little endpoints to create a like rectangular shape that goes across the clip. So now we've created a mask. So now only this glitch only occurs at the bottom as you can see. Okay, now we're going to create a mask path so that this goes up and down this clip. So I'm going to make this fit go back to 25% now. And then I'm just going to drag the mask down so that you can no longer see it. And then I'm going to press the keyframe button for mask and then go a little bit forward and then just drag that mask all the way to the top of the clip so you don't see it. Okay, so now if we watch it back, we have this line that goes across the clip. So yeah, that's the first little effect and you can play around with the height and wave and just the types of it. Okay, on to the next effect. So for this one, we're also going to press alt and then just drag that clip up. So we have two copies and then we're going to drag wave warp again to the top clip. And then we're going to change this wave type to square. So now it has these like blocks and I'm just going to make these like very wide blocks. So, so I'm just going to adjust the wave width to be like 673 I guess. And if I drag this height up you can see that it kind of like goes away. So we're going to work with this a bit. So I'm going to keep it at 205 and 673. And then I want this effect to start a little bit after the clip starts. So I'm just going to drag the top clip and make it so that the effect starts a little bit after the clip starts. Okay, now I'm going to go a little bit after the clip starts. And then I'm going to press the keyframe button for wave height. And then go a little bit forward and then just drag that number up so that all of those squares just disappear. Okay, so to make this a little bit cooler, I'm just going to adjust the opacity to 38%. So that it's kind of like a faded look. I don't know. I kind of like it like that. So yeah, that's our second effect. Okay, now for our last effect. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Okay, now I'm going to add the adjustment layer so that it overlaps the first clip and the second clip. So it just, it's where the transition will happen, basically. And then I'm going to go to effects and put that wave warp back onto the adjustment layer. And then I'm going to change the wave type to noise. And then we can adjust the wave height and wave width to be a little bit wider. And first we're going to select the pinning to all edges. So now we can just create this so that it's really just all over the place. This is honestly up to your preference. You can make it however you want. And then you can also adjust the direction so that it faces a different way. So I'm going to change the direction to 180. Okay, so I'm liking how the wave height is right now. So, now if you watch it back, it has a quick little glitch effect to, to transition into the next clip. And if you want to add this to other parts of your clip, you can hold Alt on that adjustment layer again and just drag it to where you want to drag it. So if I put it over here, it just glitches in the middle of the clip and this could be like when the beat uh, drops or something, I don't know. And then what you can also do is just like cut the clip for where the adjustment layer starts and just cut it a little bit after. Press Command R to change the speed and just speed it up. Um, so just mess around with this effect. So now when the glitch happens, it sort of speeds up at the same time. So it's cool because 
she just glitches, magically glitches, glitches into a new place, I guess. So yeah, those were three glitch effects in Premiere Pro. You guys can play around with these effects and do some cool stuff with this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.